Hi and welcome to Green Door Gourmet. My name is Richard Jones and I'm here in the fields on the farm to help you use up a lot of your vegetables. So today we have the Blue Hubbard squash. It actually has a very beautiful orange flesh inside that's about two inches thick, which is more than a lot of pumpkin has. And it's actually commonly found to be in all canned pumpkin varieties. The skin is quite tough on the exterior and so today I'm going to show you a few different ways to get through it. So you can use a large sharp knife. You could also use this. And another method might be a saw. So for those of you at home that want to get inside of your Hubbard squash, the easiest and the best method for doing that is firstly to soften up the exterior skin. So take the largest pot you have that will fit the diameter of the squash in and fill it up with the squash in there to as high as you can go. And then turn that pot onto high and heat up that water. The water is going to soften that skin and make it super easy to pierce. When the squash has soaked, you'll see that the skin is darker on one end and set it down on a chopping board so that it is flat and as sturdy as possible. And then use a large knife, the largest that you have, that has a sharp tip. Hold the knife and the Hubbard squash close together and then you'll simply, at about the middle point of the squash, press that tip into the squash and then just give it a wiggle gently and hold that tip as it slides in because it's going to reach the middle and then slide straight through. Then simply hold it on the front edge and just push that knife down and through. Extract the knife turn it around and repeat. The flesh is actually quite supple inside of the Hubbard squash and easily breaks apart. And so essentially your sharp knife is just going to pierce the hard exterior skin and then the interior will cleave apart as the knife wedges into it. If you're stuck on a desert island and all you've got to eat is Hubbard squash, you'll be just fine, as long as you have a plastic knife with which to open it. To do this, first score the Hubbard squash around the middle. Now that you've scored the flesh, what we're going to do is pierce the squash using the tip of the knife and the serrations. And you want to do this about one hole every inch or inch and a half. And now all I have to do is use a rocking motion and the serrations of the knife to break it apart. Thanks for watching and for recipes go to greendoggourmet.com slash blog.